too much time locating our fugitive signal. If our con knows anything about this Decepticon island we've heard so much about, it's vital we make this collar. Get ready to go off-road, team. No, I don't want us to risk unforeseen driving hazards we might encounter if we leave the highway. I appreciate your input, Optimus. But as leader of the team, I say we make our own road. I know this part of Earth better than you do. Very well, Bumblebee. Stay close, everyone. Hey! 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 No fair! Do you think these wheels are rocket powered? The Lieutenant and Optimus haven't seen eye to eye since your away team returned. They'll figure it out. In the meantime, Windblade and I have become such a phenomenal team within the team we practically don't need anyone else. If by team you mean you get in trouble and I save your chassis, I wouldn't mind a few more teammates personally. Strongarm, while we were away I thought of some cool combat maneuvers you and I could work on. Really? Me too. We didn't have much time to sharpen our own teamwork before you left. Team within the team, huh? That sounds awesome! Hey Drift, wanna be on a team within the team with me? No. He's playing hard to get. We should be getting pretty close to- Ugh. Bumblebee, are you- It was just a rock, not an unforeseen driving hazard. We're going into the forest to locate our fugitive. Switch to Bob mode. I'm not the brain warped con who has to face our whole team at once. So spooked. <laughs> I need that! My old friend. But you were gone! Destroyed! The Primes rescued me just before my spark was extinguished. By the motherboard! It's good to see you! Hello, Ratchet. Bumblebee! <laughs> Are any of our other former comrades here on Earth? No. But this is my new team. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the new bot on the team. I'm the... You feel like pitching in? Go scrut! <laughs> and that's how we came here. What we know about Decepticon Island and who we punched since we've been here. Does that all make sense? Sure. Seriously? Well, what about you, Ratchet? What brought you to our neck of the solar system? After we thought Optimus was no more, I joined others helping rebuild Cybertron. Over time, however, I learned they blamed Optimus and those who followed him for the ruination of our world, and they wanted to forget he ever existed. That's ridiculous. Optimus's team saved the galaxy. That's what I tried to tell them. In response, I was given a job tracking down war criminals. Undertone here became my partner. Essentially, you were banished. Exactly. But it was better than imprisonment, which I feared might be my fate if I protested. That will be all under tongue. He's the strong, silent type. Kind of like me. Huh? I've caught many fugitives, but this one took me years to corner. In 
the chase brought me to Earth. As I was wrapping up, I ran across your clampdown, and then, happily, all of you. It is good to have you by my side once more, Ratchet. Will you stay to help me uncover the truth about this Decepticon island? Yes. As team leader, I agree. We'd be lucky to have you with us. Thank you. I'd be happy to assist. Great. Drift, Sideswipe, let's wake up Clampdown and see if he can get us some intel about Decepticon Island. Everyone else, at ease. Permission to speak, sir? Go ahead, Cadet. I couldn't help but notice you and Optimus Prime don't seem to be on the same screen. <sighs> Optimus and I had this whole conversation about who leads this team a long time ago. I remember. Sometimes it feels like he can't help treating me like I'm still his scout. I, mean, I don't want to wonder what Optimus thinks or would do every time I make a decision. And I don't want to keep countermanding him. It could cost us in the field. I'm sure this is an adjustment for Optimus, Lieutenant. I know. Maybe you should take him aside. See if you can work it out, just the two of you. Good suggestion, Strongarm. I'll look for the chance to do just that. Old googly eyes is coming around, B. Good. Bring him to the command center. We'll question him there. <laughs> Talk, clamp down. What is Decepticon Island? Where is it located? How many Decepticons are there? What is their objective? Is Steeljaw involved somehow? Those two took my questions! <laughs> you see, I... He's out! Just like all the others you questioned. <sighs> if we don't catch a break soon... Unidentified Cybertronian life form approaching the front gate. Hit it, Denny. Huh? Help me, please. Sweet Solus Prime! I can't believe you know flowchart, schematic, and rundown. Of course, we all received our upgrades together. <laughs> what a small universe. I hate to interrupt the reunion, but you were going to tell us where you came from. Toolbox, was it? Like Fix-It, I was a caretaker and prison guard aboard the Alchemore. <gasps> then there was more to the ship than what was around me when I flashed. Trashed! <laughs> crashed here! And more Decepticon prisoners? Many more. Your section of the Alchemore broke off the main vessel as it plummeted through this planet's atmosphere. The remainder of the craft crashed just off the coast of what humans call Crown City. How does a giant spaceship crash into a bay without anyone noticing? Prison ships are continuously cloaked to keep them from attack by raiders looking to free criminal associates. I remember now. They're also cloaked to keep from agitating native populations when the ships need to land and resupply. Human meteorologists would have explained any giant waves caused by the splashdown as strange weather phenomena. The ship still sits in the water just beyond shore. Decepticon Island. In the chaos that followed our crash, our prisoners escaped and overthrew my fellow Minicons. They fitted us with inhibitor collars so we couldn't transform or access our built-in weapons. And they made us their slaves. <gasps> Minicons live to serve, but that's horror, 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 horrible! Three Decepticons took charge. Saberhorn, Glowstrike, and Scorponok. They've been sending Decepticons onto the mainland to gather parts and fuel. They intend to fix the Alchemore so it can leave Earth and they can plunder the galaxy. They're almost ready. How'd you find us, little guy? I heard our Decepticon overseers mention Autobots close by. I took a chance and managed to escape. We must free the rest of the Minicons and put Glowstrike, Saberhorn, Scorponok, and the other Decepticons back in stasis, where they belong. Not Scorponok. We've already caught him. There's a new member of the leadership trio, a newcomer. 
He resembles an earth wolf. Steel jaw. Another good reason to wrap up this Decepticon Island situation quickly. You summoned us, Steeljaw? We do not respond well to being summoned, good fellow. And it appears you're no closer to getting those Decepticon hunters. Ah, but appearances can be... ...deceiving. <gasps> Steeljaw, you did it! Well done, chap. With those, we shan't have to worry about rebellion in our ranks ever again. Here now, hand them over. Ah, that feels so much better. Simply a matter of finding the correct sonic frequency to disrupt the locking mechanism. I have the plan. My teamy and I will catapult onto the island and start marching. One problem with that, Grim. I am not your teamy. Okay, two problems. The second is that as powerful as you and Drift might be together, as powerful as we all are together, we're no match for hundreds of Decepticons in a straight-up fight. So we call Cybertron for backup. Think about it, Slick. Reinforcements would take too long to assemble, brief, and coordinate for an assault on the island. Yeah, think about it. Then it's just us. What can we do against all those Decepticons? Even if we were to somehow subdue every fugitive, we do not have enough stasis parts to contain them. Maybe not, but we do have cryogas and lots of it. The canisters we brought back from my supply stash. If there was some way to disperse the gas throughout the entire island at once, that might solve all our problems. Exactly. It should be possible to create a stasis bomb that when detonated would incapacitate any Decepticon within range. Like a roach bomb? Precisely. All we need is a sturdy vessel in which to hold the compressed gas. I shall assist Windblade and Ratchet in the construction of the bomb. The rest of you, form a plan for getting the weapon onto the island and detonating it. That's what I was about to. Toolbox, please brief everyone about the layout and specifics of Decepticon Island. Sir, you can't let this keep eating at you. Talk to him. Things are moving too fast right now, Strongarm. I will when there's time. Will this serve, Windblade? It's probably too small to handle all of the cryogas. Bumblebee has come a long way since the last time I saw him. He has led his team well. I sense there is a bot coming. But I worry Bumblebee is not ready to lead a team this size on a mission of this magnitude. And now that I am restored to the strength level I had before the Primes lent me their power. You feel you should lead? I do not wish to disrespect my former scout. Optimus, you would be a valuable counselor to any already established leader. I am not sure I should step back into such a role with so much hanging in the balance. Perhaps these are suitable containers. I shall ask Gwynblade. Perhaps detonating the stasis bomb above the island. The wind is too unpredictable. Toolbox, is there any kind of ventilation hub within the ship? Affirmative. Right here, sir. Good. We'll smuggle the bomb into the island and place it in the hub. We'll set the bomb on a timer and get off the island before it detonates. You would risk the entire team? We'll all go to make sure whoever's carrying the bomb reaches the hub and sets it properly. And if it- We will deal with any obstacles or resistance when the time comes. Awkward. Some weather we're having, huh? Yeah. Um, here's a real question. How do we sneak almost a dozen bots onto Decepticon Island? Oh. We won't sneak. We'll just walk onto the island. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think I'll like it. <sighs> 
Hey, if you want, you can be teamies with me and Drift. Please stop calling us that. He's coming around. You sure about this toolbox? The Alchemore is right out there. Then, let us begin our mission. Autobots, let's rev up and roll out. Remember, we want any sentries to think we're unconscious and not a threat. So close your eyes and stay still. It doesn't seem right, not going when my fellow Minicons need help. The team needs you here, fix it, in case anything goes wrong. Handful of Autobots against hundreds of Decepticons. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Attention, approaching craft. We are reading your Decepticon tracking signal, but we cannot identify you. State your name and business, or be destroyed. You're returning from a mission with Autobot prisoners, and your Decepticon tracker was damaged in the fight. Yeah! Hi! I'm coming back from a mission with Autobot prisoners? I guess my signal was damaged in the fight. <laughs> Sorry about that. Decepticon Island! This is quite a haul of prisoners. I can't believe one Dinobot captured so many Autobots, including Optimus Prime. How in the name of Megatron's Pistons were you able to go? You want to be my teamie now, don't you? hub and set the stasis bomb. Why are we stopping? Toolbox, you've returned! Autobot intruders in Cargo Bay 17! Strong arm! On it, sir! Collect 
Dominicans! No, we have to keep moving! We cannot leave them here to... Stop treating me like a... Optimus! Bumblebee! Defend yourselves! We're not going down without a fight! recommend fighting, Lieutenant. It would be so futile. Steeljaw. Welcome, old friends, at last, to the first outpost of my new Decepticon Empire. <laughs>